so I just thought I'd do a short video and just introduce you all to a little project that I'm hoping to um, start on probably in the new year. Um, this is Mini, a one inch scale traction engine. Um, I've got a full set of plans which I've printed up and split up from the A3 and A4 so I can actually do it on my printer. And I've also got the original book, Scale Model Traction Engine Building Featuring Mini. Um, pretty old book, it's been through a couple of floods, but um, it's still all there and it's still very much useful. So there's Mini, um, one inch scale, a lot of people also scale these up and build them two inch and three inch, but I'm going to stick to the one inch. All of the original drawings and designs in the original book are Imperial but I picked up a set of plans for um, metric which will simplify things greatly for me because most of my tools are metric. Um, I do have a small Imperial lathe but um, sticking to metric is just easier in general. So here's the engine, um, nice little traction engine. It's not based off any one uh, full size traction engine but was intended to be built as a well detailed model but without things that would be non functional. So it's still got two speed drive gearing, um, Stevenson's valve gear, uh, mechanical lubricator, but there isn't anything like a um, there's no governor because at this size it'd just it'd be watch making and um, well it probably wouldn't work anyway you know, even even if you got it to work it wouldn't be functional if that makes any sense the little balls wouldn't fly out with enough um, energy in them to actually govern the speed of the engine so yeah if it's yeah ridiculously complex things like that just won't aren't included but everything else is there. It's got um, a winch on the rear axle, brakes, there's a water feed pump on the side, it's a coal fired boiler, fire tubes. It's very much a nice scale traction engine, just reduced in size with a few simplifications here and there, but mostly um, it is as it should be, which is exciting for me. So, um, the, the vital statistics as it says here, so overall inch length 18 inches, the overall width 8 and a quarter inches, overall height 11 and a quarter inches, rear wheels 6 inch front wheels uh, 3 and 7 eighths, so yeah that, that makes for a decent little engine. Big enough to be workable, small enough to be easily made on a home workshop, so I like that. And I think it should be quite a nice little project, though I doubt it will be a quick project, it will be a little project. Um, I've started putting together some of the materials, there's the boiler tube and also the smoke box. Um, and the fire tubes for the boiler. Um, a lot of it is uh, 1.5 mil steel, which I've got heaps of in stock, um, but I'll probably have to buy a few bits here and there. Plus, the design is intended so that you don't need castings, you can fabricate everything. There are castings available, but I don't think I'll need them. And it will also probably keep costs down because castings are more often than not the single most expensive thing on a model. Often, the initial casting set is even more expensive than the boiler and in this case it's certainly true. Um, I did look up the cost of castings and uh, I winced. It was a lot. So fabrication however, it's all designed to be fabricated and in the book um, he, dis he discusses how to fabricate each part. So it very much simplifies things. There's also gear cutting to be done and the gears as designed were 20 dp um, imperial gears, it's diametrical pitch. Um, on, the, in, on the metric design it also uses the same imperial gears and I'm half wondering if I shouldn't modify it a bit to use a metric 
gearing just so that it becomes fully metric and part of that is because at the moment I don't have any gear hobs and if I'm gonna buy some gear hobs I think it would make sense that in a mostly metric workshop that I buy metric gear hobs for cutting the gears I don't know I'll see how I go on that but gear cutting is still a little way off I'm still getting the material together for the boiler I've only got you know, the barrel and the fire tubes there I need to get a lot of plate uh, together which I will do in the new year most likely and then being a traction engine the boiler is basically the chassis so I will start with the boiler and then from there we'll go to adding bits on though I may start by making the smoke box simply because it's basically that whole front end is an assembly in its own right um, Yeah, that whole front end section, you know, I could make a start on that before I actually work on the boiler, but I will see how I go and um, make a start somewhere, probably beginning in the new year or maybe later this month. But I just want to let you know about that. It's a little something to look out for on the channel. It will be showing up over the next few weeks or, as I say, in the new year should be a fun project for me and hopefully it'll be a fun project for all of you as well so keep an eye out and thanks for watching